Okay, in this problem, we're working from the same information from the last video. Remember what I did there? I plugged an entire class of 200 students into SPSS in order to calculate the least squares line for the entire data set. And that model that we did essentially turned out to be this model. And what that model consists of is an X value, which represents a student's clicker points, and a Y value, which represents the average grade you would expect for students who have that many clicker points. So we answered a bunch of questions about that here afterwards, and now we're here to answer a new question, which is a question about the prediction error. So it says, as I pulled the grade and clicker points for a randomly chosen student from a different class of statistics from the spring term of 2010, that's the same term that I collected this data for, right? And it says that that student had, a 30, had 35 clicker points and a 94% in the course. Plug 35 points into our model, so plug the 35 into this equation, and determine the prediction error for this case. So the prediction error is a special formula. It's very simple. You take the actual y value minus the value that you predicted. It's that simple. So we want the actual y value that was experienced minus the predicted y value, and that's the prediction error. So in our case, when we look at our problem, the actual y value is 94%. So it'll work out to be 94%, right? Minus the y hat value, the predicted value, when x is 35. So let's plug in 35 for x and see what that value actually is. Okay, so we're going to have 0 0.512 times 35 plus 70.196. And when you do that, you get the answer 88.116, 88.116. So this answer here is 88.116. All right, now from there, we're just gonna do the subtraction to figure out the actual difference between these numbers. So 94 minus 88.116. And when we're done, we get the answer 5.884, 5.884. And so that's the prediction error for this particular case. All right, so again, prediction error is just the actual observed y value at that x value. So at 35 points for this actual student, that student had a 94%. I then plugged in 35 points into the equation and found out that the model would predict an average grade for people with 35 points to be 88.116. So 94 minus 88.116 produced the answer 5.884. And at that moment, we have an estimate, essentially, of the prediction error. So not an estimate of the prediction error, pardon me, the actual prediction error for that particular point. So prediction error is almost six points.